Scottish Dan. Let's talk a little bit about the history of Den Chiefs. Now, you know that I think that the most important position within a troop is that of a Den Chief. Cub Scouting is a critical part of many youth's development within scouting. And the Den Chief is a great example of what the Cub Scout is choosing to become. Now, back when scouting was first starting in the United States, Ernest Thompson Seaton had an idea about Cub Scouts from the beginning, way back in 1910 and before. Seaton had the Woodcraft Indians that had been moved over into scouting. And within that structure, there was a way for younger people to join within their organization that was lacking in the newly found American scouting program. Within that program, den chiefs were used from the older unit to work with the younger unit and would be the example to help those Woodcraft Indians to move into an older youth organization. So this is all before scouting was actually formed in the United States. And this ideal was to take den chiefs and they would be the leaders of small groups and they would be the only ones involved in getting the younger ones up to speed so that they could join the older boys within their organization. Now, Seton was the founder of Woodcraft Indians and that was That was his organization since the beginning of the new century. As he became more involved with the organization of the Boy Scouts of America, this idea was brought up. James West, our first scout executive, our first chief scout executive, tabled the ideal of Cub Scouts because he had a real fear that this would interfere with the establishment of Boy Scouts. But he did agree to run some experiments to see if it was viable. In 1916, Baden Poole published his Wolf Cub book, and this was based on the Rugger Kipling Jungle Book. From that time on, a lot of experiments were done with younger youth to get them to join Boy Scouts. In 1930, the Boy Scouts of America started registering Cub Scout packs. The packs had many dens, just like troops have many patrols. These dens were organized by age, and these dens were completely run by youth from the supporting troop as a den chief. The youth position of a den chief from the beginning was in charge of the den, and in some dens, the den chief was not much older than the Cub Scouts, and this became an issue. Den mothers were brought into to support the den chief in leadership. So the den chiefs of the scout troop were still in charge of the den. The den mothers were there to give support. By 1940s, the den mother became the leader that ran the den, and the den chief became the support. Cub Scouts has always needed den chiefs. Scout troops have always needed den chiefs. It's critical to have that example with the younger youth so that they can cross over with the skills that are needed to be successful in a scout troop. Today, we have den chief training and handbooks. In the past, they didn't have them. Since the 1940s, a lot of that training was done by the den mother. Today, we have den leaders who rely on trainers from the district and even online training for den chiefs. Scout units that don't have a den chief are literally setting themselves up for failure. It is absolutely critical that youth take over this critical role in helping Cub Scout packs and dens succeed. And success is something that we do. We need youth to step up and become den chiefs. This is critical for the troop. It is important for the den and the Cub Scout pack. We know this. 
because we work so hard with our youth to help them succeed. This example of leadership is critical. I am so proud of all the hard work you do, and I am so glad that you are involved in scouting. I look forward to seeing you on the trail.